the more layers you get, the longer it takes to save, especially if you don't have um, a lot of RAM. Okay, and because of that, I've decided that now I can't see this text very well. And so I'm going to put a mat under that text. And so I'm going to create a new layer. Go to my rectangular marquee tool and draw marching ants where I want my mat to be. I'm going to go ahead and hit D and X on my keyboard to change this uh, foreground color to white. Get my paint bucket and fill that layer in with white. But now that white, let's deselect, is really uh, stark. It uh, gets the all the attention. Um, when you first look at the layout. it's uh, I can read my text better, so there's good contrast with the text, but I cannot... I see that first when I go um, to look at the layout. And so to make that as a piece of vellum, you simply go to the opa opacity slider and move it down and watch what happens on the desktop as I slide it down. Now you can see the background kind of showing through, but the uh, mat changes it enough so that um, I can see a contrasting in the text. I can duplicate, I don't think this is in the, in the first layout tutorial, but I can duplicate my mat simply by dragging it up to the new layer icon and I'm going to drag it over to this other text and simply resize it and now I have a mat under my other text. Now you can see that my uh, my title though is hard to see. It's no longer contrasting with the new background and so I'm going to change that maybe to something like a white. Well, let's uh, try something really dark. And you can see how you can change, continually change um, all of your elements as you add mats and backgrounds. Uh, to make everything uh, contrast so that everything pops. You can move things in the layers palette uh, to make things visible so that everything is stacked correctly. And I have a few more tips here under uh, step 19. Uh, to zoom in and out, you can use the little scroll bar on your mouse, but I prefer to hold down the control key and in the numeric keypad pad on my keyboard if you hit the plus key it will zoom right in. So that is a great way to change things uh, such as text to get a closer view and if you hit the minus key it zooms back out. I can see when I zoom in that this mat is over the other mat and I wouldn't want that and I can use zoom in to center this. You can see I don't have a drop shadow on the mat and I need to add that to both mats. So zooming in does help you see a lot of the errors to make things just just perfect. Um, to move items just a little bit like I was just doing for this vellum mat. Um, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. However, in, El in Photoshop Element 6, uh, it, it doesn't work as readily as it did in other versions. If you press Control T, it's going to bring up the bounding boxes better. 
and then you can use your arrow keys to scoot one little bit at a time. That's just a little quirk that's in Photoshop Elements 6. Uh, the arrow keys worked uh, much more readily in Photoshop version 3 and I hope in the Photoshop 7 that they fixed that back to the way it worked in, in, uh, in 3. When you're done with your layout you're going to go and choose a Save As and save your layout as a JPEG so that you can use the JPEG for printing. When this option comes up you're going to want your quality as 12 um, moving the slider all the way to the right also will change it to the highest quality and then click OK to save to your folder and um, I generally will always have two versions uh, some people after they're sure they don't do not want to make any more changes on their layout may later delete their PSD file um, if you've got plenty of hard drive space you can uh, just keep that uh, keep both of them and, and that's what I tend to do if you have any questions just ask in the forum and uh, I look forward to seeing your first layouts uh, they're always a, a great joy to get to see. Oh, right, and you see here, she's a beauty. Now, if you look low, she's tearing the flesh off the animal. We'll try to get a little closer. Look at that. Look at those claws. Oh yeah, there goes a big chunk. Yeah, this is right. Backyard Discovery Channel. Now we're in a very dangerous position. Any sudden movements we could be taken out at any time. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, she's gone. Hey, run! 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 <laughs> oh, crap! Oh, crap! Ah! Ah! Ah!